In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve linear equations that might require us to do some simplifying first. Recall in this whole process of solving an equation, our goal is to find the value the variable represents. What number is that variable, the x, the a, the b, what number does it represent? As we attempt to do that, the first step of solving is to make sure we simplify each side completely. If there's any simplifying we can do, we want to do it. And we can do simplifying by either distributing or combining like terms. So for example, if we were to look at the equation 3 times 2x minus 6 plus 8 equals 17, we want to know what that variable represents. What number goes into that equation for the variable? Well, we'll do that by first balancing on the equal sign. And as we do, we make sure each side is simplified first. On the left side, you'll notice we have a number in front of parentheses, so we can distribute through. That gives us 6x minus 3 times 6 is 18 plus 8 equals 17. We can actually do a little more simplifying because we can combine the like terms of, whoops, uh, the like terms of the negative 18 and the positive 8. So now we have 6x minus 10 equals 17. Finally, we have a two-step equation we can quickly solve, getting the x alone. The opposite of negative 10 is positive 10 to both sides. That leaves us with 6x on one side and 27 on the other side. 6 times x, we undo the multiplication with division. We divide by 6, giving us x is equal to the reduced fraction, dividing by 3, nine halves. That means nine halves is the value that represented x in this equation. Let's try one more that's a little more involved but follows much the same pattern. 12x minus 5 times 3x minus 1 equals 4 plus 3 times 2x plus 1. As always, we will balance on the equal sign as we attempt to find out what is the value that x represents in all three of these locations in this equation. Again, we start by simplifying first. On the left side, you'll notice we can distribute, giving us 12x minus 5 times 3 is 15x. Careful here, that's negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5 equals. We also can simplify on the right side by distributing. So we've got 4 plus 3 times 2x is 6x plus 3 times 1 is 3. There still is more simplifying to do on each side. On the left side, we've got 12x minus 15x. That's negative 3x and plus 5, combining like terms, equals. On the right side, we've got 4 and 3 as like terms. That's 7 plus the 6x. Well, it's simplified now, but the variable is on both sides. We need to get it on the same side. I like to move the smaller one, the negative 3x, though technically it does not matter. To get rid of a negative 3x, we need three positive x's. And now that we're solving, we're doing the same thing to both sides, adding 3x to both sides. That gives us 5 is equal to 7 plus 6 plus 3 is 9x. We now have a two-step equation, getting the x alone, this time on the right side. Get rid of that 7 by subtracting it from both sides. Gives us negative 2 equals 9x. Finally, that's 9 times x. We undo the multiplication with division. Dividing both sides by 9 
and x is representing the fraction negative 2 ninths for our final solution. Again, that means negative 2 ninths is the number represented by the variables in this problem. The first step to solving, simplify each side completely. Distribute and combine like terms on the left, distribute and combine like terms on the right, and then start solving the simplified equation by doing the same thing to both sides of the equation.